For the first problem, we're going <clears> to <throat> see what happens if we completely eliminate our use of uh, oil. And uh, so to do, to do this uh, problem, first we just run the control version. So we hit run, and it says those results. That's with all the switches in the off position. Now we're going to turn the oil switch on. We're going to turn F oil new to zero. That means oil after the adjustment will represent zero of our uh, energy. So that completely eliminates it. And remember, the renewable fraction will rise as a result of that. We have to make sure the start time is at 2020. The adjust time is at 2. We don't change the per capita energy or the population. And we run the model again now. And we see a different result here. Now, I'm going to look at page 2. This shows the total emissions. This is what we're interested in. We want to find the total emissions in 2100 and how they differ. So I slide the cursor along back and forth here until I get to 2100. That's right in there. And I see that um, in run 1, that's our control, it was 29.57 gigatons of carbon emitted. And then in run 2, it's down to 19.78. And so it's a difference of 9.79, and that's the answer that we're looking for, that difference, the reduction, basically the distance between the blue curve and this dotted red one here.